Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back. It's so, so, so good to see you. Thank you for coming to sing and dance and play with me today. I can't wait. So, who can tell me the name of the super big holiday that's coming up this week here in America, the country where we live? That's right, Thanksgiving. And what's the word that's in the word Thanksgiving? Can you hear it? Thanks, uh-huh. Giving, you're right, both of those things. Because this holiday is all about being thankful for the blessings in our lives and all of the wonderful people that we love and all of the wonderful gifts and abundance of food and safety and shelter. We really, really appreciate that at this time of year, especially as winter starts to bear down on us up here, right? Yeah, it's a lot. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I don't know why. Hmm, there we go. <laughs> My computer was giving me a little bit of trouble getting in just the right spot. So, what is the main way that we celebrate Thanksgiving? That's right! We get together with our loved ones, and this year we're gonna have to do most of that over the computer, just like we're doing right now except for the loved ones that you live with and you can celebrate together, have extra, extra fun together and share a feast, a feast full of delicious favorite foods. That's right. And there are actually a lot of songs about food and you already know a lot of them, I bet. Isn't that cool? So we're gonna do all yummy food songs today. And I have special rattles. Can you tell what this rattle is made of? A gourd. That's like a kind of squash. And this is one of the oldest rattles that people ever figured out how to make because it just grew like this. And then they let it dry out. And when it dried, the seeds inside the gourd made a rattling sound. Isn't that cool? It's like nature's instrument, or one of them anyway. And this is a maraca that's made out of a gourd. So it was one round gourd that grew, this ball, and then they drilled a little hole and they filled it with beans, little dried beans, and then they put a handle on it. That's another way you can make an instrument out of food. Isn't that cool? All right, so it's definitely time to get started singing and playing whatever instrument you've got, even if that's just a snap, clap, or slap your lap, right? Okay, so I'm gonna sing Dear Friends, and that means you. Here we go. Dear friends, dear friends, hello dear friends, how are you today? Dear friends, dear friends, hello dear friends, come, let's sing and play. Yay! All right, let's do this. Now, usually at this point, we would sing a warm-up song of Row Your Boat. But this time, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to sing Row Your Boat, but it's going to change to be like a rolling pin. And then we're going to sing Roll Your Dough. Isn't that funny? So instead of rowing a boat, this time, our rattles are a rolling pin on the dough like you would make for a pie crust for a Thanksgiving pie, right? So we go like this. I'll sing it first 
You can try to sing it with me, and then we'll sing it all together the second time. Ready? Here we go. Roll, roll, roll your dough smoothly as can be. Roll it till it's big and round. Then add some good toppings. Can we do that again together? Here we go. Roll, roll, roll your dough smoothly as can be. Roll it till it's big and round. Then add some good toppings. Mm. <laughs> good one. That's awesome. Okay, so here's a really old food song that I bet you know. It's called, sorry, I have an itchy eyebrow. What an odd thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's called Muffin Man. You know this song? Goes, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Now we know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Now we know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Hi! Good morning! My friend Holly Ava just got here. Hey! Hi there! Yay! Look, Holly Ava, I'm using special rattles made of dried gourds today. Right? Isn't that cool? Because today we're singing all about food. And we just sang the Muffin Man. He's a baker who makes muffins. Mmm. Awesome. Now we're going to sing If All the Raindrops. And really imagine those treats raining into our mouths. Wouldn't that be crazy? All right, let's get into it. Here we go. <laughs> if all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. If all of the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. If all of the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, oh, what a snow that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. If all of the snowflakes were chocolate bars and milkshakes, Oh, what a snow that would be. If all of the sunbeams were lemonade and ice cream, oh, what a sun that would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide, singing ah, 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 ah. If all of the snowflakes were, oh, no, it's sunbeams. If all of the sunbeams were lemonade and ice cream, Oh, what a sun that would be. All right. Oh, that's a really fun food song, isn't it? So I think it's time to put our gourds away or whatever instrument you had. We'll put them down for now because we need our hands to sing one of my favorite food songs because it's funny. And it's called On Top of Spaghetti. Do you remember On Top of Spaghetti? And I know some of my friends out there are vegetarians and they don't eat meatballs, but they might eat those um, beyond sort of imitation meatballs. So for you, you can just pretend that's what it is. Okay, all right, let's do it. 
There's a big spaghetti mountain here. Ready? On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. Achoo! It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball, it rolled out the door. Whoa! It rolled through the garden and under a bush. And then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. So if you eat spaghetti, all covered with cheese, hold on to your meatball, lest somebody sneeze. I do. <laughs> I got it. Oh, that's a funny one, isn't it? I like that one. So now we're going to do another food song. This one is peanut butter and jelly. And you need to make big hands for this one too. Now, if you're ready to stand up and be really wiggly, you could try making this sandwich with your whole body but only for pretend in the song. I don't think using your whole body to make a real sandwich would go very well. I bet that would get pretty messy. So let's just do it in the song, okay? You ready? Here we go. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. First you take the nuts and you crunch them. You crunch them. First you take the nuts and you crunch them, you crunch them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the fruit and you squish it, you squish it. Then you take the fruit and you squish it, you squish it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> well done. So now we're going to sing a song. You might not think it's about food, but if you listen carefully to the words, I want to see if you can tell which part is the cooking part. There's a cooking part hidden in this song. Ready? It's called build a house. And I think most of you already know it. Let's do the hand signs really big together, okay? Here we go. Build a house and build it high. Build it way up to the sky. See the roof and see the floor. See the little swinging door. See the mama baking bread. See the little ones asleep in their bed. Wake up! <laughs> Good morning! All right, did you catch it? What part was the cooking part? Yeah, you got it! When the mama was making bread. Why was she doing this? You know what that is acting out? It's when you're making the dough before you put the bread in the oven. It's sticky and stretchy and you gotta slap it up. 
flip it, rub it down. Oh no! <laughs> it's like you you stretch it and squish it to make it uh, get all fluffy and mixed together just right. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I wonder how many of you go ahead and raise your hand if you like to help cook food in the kitchen sometimes. Whoa, man, you guys can't see each other right now, but I'm telling you, a lot of hands just went up. I love to cook too. It's so fun. And I've got a new song to sing today. It's a song that we actually sing a lot, but it's a new style of it. So you can ask whatever grown up is watching with you if you can borrow some foods from the kitchen or you can watch how we do the song and do it with me for pretend. And then later you can do it again, but with the real food when you've had time to gather it from your kitchen, okay? So it's time for everyone to stand up. I've got some foods for the song. There we are. And the song is a hokey pokey. But we're doing foods by color. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit wacky, okay? And I don't think that I can do all of this song super crazy turbo fast because I think that would make too much of a mess. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to pull this up just a little more again. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with cranberries. Do you see the cranberries? All right, so here's how it's going to go. You put your red fruit in. You put your red fruit out. You put your red fruit in. And you shake it all about. Whoa! You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your orange food in. You put your orange food out. You put your orange food in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your yellow food in. You put your yellow food out. You put your yellow food in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your green food in. You put your green food out. You put your green food in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your blue food in. Blueberries. You put your blue food out. You put your blue food in. And you shake it all about. Woo! Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yay! <laughs> no way! My friend Brit is here too! Oh, it's so good to see you, Ray. It's been a really long time. Thanks for coming and being silly with me again today. Did you get to watch On Top of Spaghetti? Because if not, you guys can back it up and watch that one again later. I think you might like it because it's pretty funny. Okay, so I'm going to move these foods. Now, 
my friend Holly Ava. Lo oh, I love you too. I love you, love you, love you. Um, my friend Holly Ava is a pretty serious hokey pokey expert. And she really, really needs us to do it super crazy turbo fast. So I'm going to pick my yellow foods this time. Okay, we're only going to do the yellow one, right? And maybe we'll do yellow foods and then whole self. And we'll do it super crazy turbo fast. <sighs> this is going to be silly. I hope I don't squish my banana. All right. Let's do this crazy thing, all right? So first, oh, you got to stretch out, right? Shake it. Shake it out, get loose. Woo! All right. And then we take a deep breath in, okay? Put your yellow food in, yellow food out, yellow food in, shake it out of that, do the best you saw. That's what it's all about. Put your whole self in, put your whole self out, put your whole self in, and shake it out of that, do the best you saw. That's what it's all about. Woo! <laughs> That's so, 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 so silly. So, now we're going to do I'm a little teapot. Because a teapot is something that we sort of cook with, right? When we make tea, I use mine to make instant oatmeal, too. I don't know if you ever eat that. Sometimes it's really yummy in the winter. Okay, ready? I'm gonna be a teapot back here so you can see all the moves. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my, wait, here, okay. I messed it up, you guys. I don't know why I'm so spacey today. Okay, <laughs> let's start over. You ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Yay, <laughs> did you do it? Let's do it again, one more time. I, you know, part of the reason I'm spaced out is there's a window over there that you can't see and there's a very cute little chubby fuzzy squirrel running around. <laughs> and I keep going, squirrel. <laughs> All right, let's do I'm a little teapot one more time, okay? Do it with me, here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. <laughs> wow, you guys are so good at this stuff. Okay, so I think it's almost time to end the class for today. Let me... See if there are any requests. No, okay, we're okay. All right. So I'm going to get some of my awesome scarves. And you can do this with bandanas or paper towels or scarves, whatever you have that you have permission to use that's soft and light so it'll float when you throw it and could not hurt anyone. Right? We don't like to hurt people, do we? Okay, so, <clears throat> we're going to do head and shoulders, knees and toes. It's not technically about food, but our bodies need good food to grow. And these are all parts of our bodies that get stronger when we eat our healthy foods. That's the tie-in. <laughs> That's the connection. All right, so we'll start out a little bit slowly. Get warmed up, all right? Here we go. 
Do it even faster. We warmed up, and I see <coughs> I have a request for baby bumblebee, which I will definitely do, but I'm gonna do this a little faster first, okay? And then we'll do bumblebee at the end. I guess technically that song's about food. <laughs> and you go, ah, right? All right, here we go. <coughs> Faster. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> oh, good. Good. But that's probably as fast as we should do it. I don't know if we should do super crazy turbo fast today because we already did super crazy turbo fast with the food hokey pokey. We, we should. All right. I'm hearing some of my friends say, yes, super crazy turbo fast. Oh boy. All right. <coughs> if you say so. Okay, shake it out, get loose. Woo. All right, and then we're gonna take our super big deep breath in and do head and shoulders, knees and toes, super crazy turbo fast, right? <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. Man, I really want to show you guys this squirrel in a minute. Okay, because I'm seriously, I'm just squirrel every couple seconds. It's very silly. And I'm going to put my beautiful berries and my beautiful fruits and veggies over here <coughs> so that I can get up close to sing Baby Bumblebee. <laughs> so, because I think it's more fun when you make a really big faces with it, right? All right. Oh, and I have another request for the song that I wrote that's about whining. This is awesome. I, I feel like I'm really hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. Yay, oh, I miss you. Okay. So, I think what we need to do is it's almost time for the class to technically be over. So, I'm going to sing our wave goodbye song so that people who can't stay late can go ahead and sign off. But I'm going to stay here until I sing Bumblebee and the whining song for anybody who wants to stay and sing with me, okay? All right, here we go. <clears throat> uh, oh. So, stick around if you want the bonus songs, but technically, this is the end of class time. Okay, so here we go. Wave goodbye to our friends, to our friends, to our friends. Wave goodbye to our friends. Wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Anybody who has to leave now, mwah. Okay. And if you can stay for my extra songs, let's get into it. Get your bumblebee in here. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. 
Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Ow! It stung me. I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up my baby bumblebee. Ew! It's all sticky. I'm licking up my baby bumblebee. Let my mommy be so proud of me. I'm licking up my baby bumblebee. My tummy. Oh, open up my baby, bumblebee. Let my baby, who's so proud of me? I'm open up my baby, bumblebee. Ew, it's all yucky. I'm mopping up my baby, bumblebee. Well, my mommy be so proud of me. I'm mopping up my baby bumblebee. Yay! Are you proud, Mommy? <laughs> oh, we love that song, don't we? So silly and funny. Okay, so now it's time for the whining song. Usually, at this point, I would uh, sing this song with a kazoo as my instrument. But I don't have my kazoo close to me, so I'm just going to do the version where I hold my nose to make the whining sound. Can you pinch your nose closed? And they make whining sounds. Is that sound kind of funny? <laughs> All right. So here's how the song goes. You ready? Everybody gets frustrated. Everybody feels stressed out sometimes. Everybody needs a little extra attention, but it only makes it worse when we whine. Mosquitoes whine. <coughs> Torpedoes whine. Ew, but we don't whine. No, because we know it makes people crazy. Everyone feels impatient. Everybody gets worn out sometimes. Everybody needs a little extra attention, but we know it makes it worse when we whine. Mosquitoes whine. <laughs> Torpedoes whine. But we don't whine. No, because we know it makes people crazy. Should I do the burrito verse? Okay, here we go. Mosquitoes whine. <laughs> Burritos whine. What? But we don't whine. No, because we know it makes people crazy. <laughs> All right. I love singing that song. I'm glad you like it too. It's the little song that I wrote. Oh, yay, and Taj is here too. To answer a question I got, yes, I will have Friday Feelings Corner this week. I'm excited. Gonna have Teddy and Angus come over. Maybe we'll eat some leftovers. You'll have to tune in to find out. I'm so, 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 so happy that you could come and sing and dance and play with me today. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for coming and hanging out. And I really, really hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving feast and feel all the things you're extra thankful for and eat all your favorite foods if you can. I love you. And if you can join me at 11 o'clock this Friday, go ahead and have your grown up type in whatever you might want to tell me about what your Thanksgiving was like. I'd love to hear about it. 
if we can. Okay, well, I wish we could hang out all day. I really do, but I gotta go. Oh, I'm sorry, I kicked a pan. I'm going to pick up my computer now and see if I can show you the squirrel that keeps distracting me. Okay, all right, it's getting weird. I don't know why. All right, where's that squirrel? Squirrel. Oh, there he is. Okay, wait. Mm. Oh, there, he went up high. Oh, no. I don't know if you got to see him at all because I think he saw me by the window and I scared him away. Oh, well. All right. I'm going to sign off now. Mwah! I love you. I love you. See you soon. Okay, have a really good day and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hi. Oh, and then I gotta press that button.